You may be surprised, but I've definitely had a special um, interest and um, curiosity about the prophets and, um, and have often thought about um, uh, various of the prophets. Um, I'll share just one in answer to your question, um, at Job. Um, the story of Job has, I've read at different times in my life. Um, first on that very first trip to Israel as a high school student, and then later um, at different points in my life. And I think, I remember reading William Sapphire writing a book uh, calling Job the First Political Dissident, and literally tying Sharansky and other Jewish dissidents to the line of Jewish willingness to stand up, in this case, to stand up ultimately and ask a question to God. Um, unheard of in, in, in that sense, even in the Torah. So uh, for me, the idea that some really ugly things have happened to people, let alone me, that I don't have an explanation for, um, is a universal theme that I think every person has to find a way to deal with. And there's something very compelling in the story that for me, says, this is not only about why do bad things happen to good people. That's one sub-theme of the story. But there's also an important element of, of at what point do you turn and do you say why and, 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 um, and, and with all that that you know, sort of implies, um, the strength strength of character, both to believe and have belief, uh, even amidst um, uh, personal self-sacrifice, but at the same time um, to commit oneself, to stand up and be accounted, to stand up and ask a hard question, to speak truth to power. And the Jewish role models that have so influenced my life um, particularly dating back to the period of, of, of Soviet Jewry and even the founding of uh, the, the early Zionist uh, uh, leaders and founders and uh, the young generation that built that, the people we don't know that, that went out and created kibbutzim and made facts under very, very difficult circumstances. You know, for me, those um, are all in, in a, you know, sort of derivative fashion you know, uh, th those are the true descendants of Job. It's not just that we created Israel on the heels of the Holocaust. It's that we stood up and we changed a trajectory. And that is a legacy that our Jewish community today, I think, has, um, has advanced in a very profound way in Jewish history. So for me, the prophets that continue to speak to us of Isaiah and of, of, of thinking about the day and the vision and the prophecy, how we will beat swords into plowshares, but at the same time, with faith, even in hard times, that we will continue to believe in faith and not retrench. And with that, we will continue to stand up and even be a single lone voice against, against voices of power. I, I think that's an enduring legacy, and I think it's very much a part of our our. our are the Nevi'im, it's part of the Kituvim, it's part of our story uh, in the Torah. And, and, and how we drive that, how we bring that together is for each generation to interpret, but it's, it's there. It's there for us to work with.